Hello and welcome to Sarah Girl Soaps. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Before we get started, please like and subscribe to this video and we are going to get started making the thousand kisses. So the micas that I use in this particular soap are going to be Peacock and Northern Lights, both from Nurture Soap. The white in my soap is simply just the base color of my batter. I do not add any colorants or micas. I will be using Thousand Dreams from Nature's Garden. This is a top seller at farmers markets and craft shows amongst all ages. You're going to have top notes being the star fruit and peach. The middle notes will be peony and lily. Base notes will be warm, sweet musk, sandalwood, and amber. When I'm working with this, I notice that I do not have any acceleration, racing, or discoloration, and it is just a beautiful fragrance to work with. So in this, I will be layering all of my colors several times only because I always do a hanger swirl with this and I love having the multi layers coming through with the hanger. The hanger tool that I use is off of Amazon. I love it. It is flexible so you can change the size to different length of molds and it is extremely easy to clean. And then here I am scraping out anything left in my buckets, pur purposely left behind. So that way I can do some really pretty swirls on top. I usually will scrape this out and clean up the edges a little bit and then let this sit for a few minutes so it has a chance to kind of thicken up so that way I have a nice texture on top when I do the swirls. And then I just use my favorite chopstick and let swirl. We are moving on to the next day. We have let these sit overnight for about 24 hours and we are here to unmold. They unmold really nice. And then I will always shave off and clean up the tops so that way everything is even and I don't have to do it when I'm beveling each bar individually. And if you bevel your soaps and you wanted your short corner to be beveled as well, you could also do that during this time as well just by shaving off the bottom corners along the edges. She's so pretty. My multi-bar cutter that I use is from Bud's Workshop and it is a one inch cutter. And then as you can see with like the different layers, you can see how it pulled through with the hanger swirl.
fan of Beverly May soaps. It's not something you have to do. So we got the new soap stamp with the new logo. And this was one of the first times that I got to use it. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. The link to the Etsy shop where I get my stamp is down there. And also a link to any micas that I use from Nurture Soap. If you make any purchases, I do get a small commission. But I hope everybody has a great afternoon. So thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.